Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. I've been asked this question a ton. Which version of RetroArch is the best on Android? Well, let's get started. All right, to kick things off, there are currently two different versions of RetroArch on the Google Play Store. One is simply called RetroArch. It has over a million installs. And the other one here is called RetroArch Plus, and it has over 500,000 installs. There's two main differences between RetroArch and RetroArch Plus. RetroArch will support up to 50 cores or 50 different systems. RetroArch Plus will support up to 127, quite a bit more. But with RetroArch Plus, you do require Android 8.0 or greater. So the short answer here is that on the Google Play Store, provided you have Android 8.0 or greater, RetroArch Plus is the better of the two, but it's actually not the best version of RetroArch you can get on Android. If we scroll to the bottom of the page here, we can see that this is version 1.9.12. However, just the other day, RetroArch version 1.9.13 was released, and yes, it is available for Android. And no, it doesn't have a cap in terms of how many cores you have. There is no 50 core cap. There is no 127 core cap. You can have access to all of the cores without issue. To get the best version of RetroArch on your Android device, you will have to download the APK file and install it. It's also known as sideloading. It sounds dangerous. It sounds complicated, but it's really simple and straightforward and also fairly safe. If you head on over to RetroArch.com, you can do this on your PC or on your Android device. I recommend doing it on your Android device. It'll be far easier. Uh, once you're here, go to the download page and scroll down to the bottom where it says Android. If you take a look, there are a number of different links here, but the one I recommend clicking on is download. The size here is 155 megabytes. If you downloaded the file on your computer, transfer it over to your Android device. If it's already on your Android device, feel free to install the file. Just open it up and click install. Your installation might be blocked. It might not, but it probably will be. And to fix this, go into your settings menu, go into your security menu, and then click on unknown sources. Turn that on, then install the file, and it should be okay. And then afterwards, just feel free to disable this. I'd recommend disabling it after you're done. After that, you're pretty much done. You've got the best version of RetroArch on Android. Just open it up and enjoy it. If you don't know how to use RetroArch, I've got you covered. I'll leave a link in the description below. I've done a few tutorials on it. Anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts about RetroArch on Android in the comments below. Which version do you use? Standard RetroArch, RetroArch Plus, or do you sideload it like I do for the optimal experience? If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.